Hey, what's up? 昨日何してました What did you do yesterday? 昨日何してました What did you do yesterday? So,、uh, so many actually Japanese language learners are using Genki Book, Duolingo, Minna no Nihongo, like Japanese、uh, language for busy people, whatever so much common textbook they are using. But the problem is they are not making any progress in speaking. Like, I'm constantly here, like, over and over. Everybody say the same things. I know hiragana. I know kanji. I know a little bit of words from every day. And they cannot speak Japanese. They cannot communicate with Japanese people. They cannot understand what they're really exactly talking. And over and over, the people are saying the same things. That is, the, what I learned from textbook and what the native people are speaking is totally different. So, what is this thing? What is the way you can solve those problems? Because if you think, like, let's say I'm learning English and I, in the textbook it's written, How are you? I am fine. Thank you. If I'm just studying, but actually, the real life is no one actually speaking like this. The Japanese language is also the same. You just learn, like, Genki desu ka? Watashi wa tomu desu. Like, how are you? I am Tom. But have you ever heard it in the real life? Have you ever even heard it in the anime or movie or even the real life? No one actually s a y Genki desu ka? How are you? Like, in the real life? No one. So, like, you spend like one year, two years, like, some people actually spend five years studying with the common textbook, and finally, they cannot even speak simple things. Such a wasting time. Please, today, let's learn. In order to stop wasting your time, you can make a progress just this month if you learn correctly. So, today, I'm gonna talk about this particle like no or ni or wo or ga, whatever, any particles. This is kind of like you can think in English is like a on or in, at. Like this, actually,、um, small things to connect the words. Like, I'm living in Japan. I'm good at playing basketball. You know, that, you know any language has these small things like in or on or at or of, whatever. That's the code in Japanese. It's particles. Particles is like no, ga, wo, ni, de. And so many actually Japanese learners are totally confused how to use ni. For example, ni is a very difficult actual particles. I can give you some example sentences. How can you use ni in Japanese? For example, densha ni no t e i m a s densha ni no t e i m a s or tomodachi ni aimas, tomodachi ni. I must. ni okimashita. Goji ni okimashita. Gakko ni iku yote des. Gakko ni iku yote des. Baiku ni noru no ga ski des. Baiku ni noru no ga ski des. Did you understand? There are so many ways to use ni. It's not only this, there's tons of ways to use ni. And a lot of people actually thought that ni is just like in, or ni is like a to. It's not like that. It's not gonna work if you're just translating the ni in English like ni is in or to. Not gonna work. Do you remember? You can actually say also, bus ni. I'm in the bus. I'm taking a bus, means. I mean, bus, the transportation, right? So, like, the translation can be、uh, the bus, like a bus. I'm taking a bus. Also, like you, I said, Goji ni okimashita. I woke up, I got up at 5 a.m. How can you really understand how to use ni? 
So I'm gonna tell you the answer first. If you really wanna master the particles, like ni or no or ga, those are actually small things in Japanese, that's definitely you need to use it correctly. Otherwise, people can't understand what you wanna say. Those small things is always important. But if you really wanna master these particles, what should you do? Is simply you need to train your muscle memory. Muscle memory is what? It's like your English, like why you can say I'm good at playing basketball without even thinking. You don't say I'm good of playing basketball or you don't say I'm good, good in playing basketball or you don't say I'm good of, no, I said. So anyway, you don't actually think because in Japanese, maybe you are thinking, should I say this? Uh, bus ni norimasu, or bus de norimasu, bus wo norimasu, bus ga norimasu. If you're thinking like, can I use in or on or at or of whatever, if you're thinking the small things all the time, every actually sentences, of course you cannot speak quickly. Try to ask yourself why you can speak English. You, why you don't consider on or at or in all the time, every second when you speak the language because you just got used to it to speak properly. This is called muscle memory. So for example, I am native Japanese person. When I learn English, I stop learning with this grammar textbook because grammar textbook is written. This is how to use in or at or on. And I couldn't really speak fast because, you know, every time, every sentence has an in. Like I'm living in Japan. I am good at playing basketball. I go to this place. I go there. Sometimes you don't use it. Right? There are so many actually small things that it's necessary to use it and then you have to quickly use it. Otherwise, you cannot speak so quickly. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I was there. I, I was doing this and then I went there and then now I came back. You know, how are you going to actually really say fast in Japanese? What did you do yesterday? You actually really speak fast. You really want to be able to speak fast. You don't have time to think about particle. Like, is it ne, ni, or ga, or wo? You actually really want to speak Japanese fast, like native. And you really want to follow the conversation like a native speed. Because otherwise, oh, I can't follow the conversation. Native people speak so fast. And I need to think grammar every time. You cannot even enjoy talking. So as I mentioned, if you really want to be able to speak Japanese naturally, quickly, train your muscle memory. What should you do to train your muscle memory? First of all, you need to learn the native phrases. No textbook from today. The textbook is always give you the grammar knowledge, but you will never understand what is a natural way to speak. How do we say naturally, what did you do yesterday? Can you say what did you do yesterday naturally? 昨日何してました? 昨日何してました? Maybe casual tense is 昨日何してた? 昨日何してた? You will never actually really get those natural phrases from textbook because you always focus on the flashcard, only the words. And you actually focus on the grammar, ni or de. And you can't even get these natural phrases like what did you do yesterday? I cannot imagine somebody learning Japanese with a textbook one year later, still this person cannot say, what did you do yesterday? Hey, how was it going? Like, how was it yesterday? Why they cannot say naturally even after one year of study? It's about efficiency, of course. If you want to be able to study so many years, you don't care about saving time, please use textbook forever. But if you're frustrated, I really want to be able to speak. Tomorrow, day after tomorrow, I really want to communicate. Please do not use grammar textbook. Try to train your muscle memory. Are you an expat living in Japan? You started living in Japan, you are super excited to communicate with locals. You can enjoy traveling, meeting people. And now you start using this textbook and you feel like, wow, that's so many. Elementary school textbook. Another elementary school textbook and How many hours should you study 
Let's think one more time. In order to communicate like a normal guy, you can do everything in the basic everyday life. Should you finish all those textbooks, otherwise you won't understand what they're talking, you cannot express yourself, anything? First of all, there are always two ways to learn languages. One is documentational language, the other one is conversational language. It's like, you know, once upon a time, grandmother and grandfather are living somewhere somewhere or hey what's up how's it going which is conversational what is the most effective way to learn how to speak japanese textbooks can't talk to you so you cannot improve your listening skill and pronunciation how to communicate so why japanese children can speak japanese so quickly because they are learning conversational japanese the good news is, in Japan Language Factory, we have a specific learning structure to improve your conversational Japanese. So you can join the conversation, you can understand what they're talking, you can respond quickly and express what you are thinking. If you want to be able to speak Japanese as soon as possible, join our free consultation to figure out what is the fastest way to start speaking Japanese.